from America's backyards to the racetracks of her major cities, from rambling Texas ranches to world champion show arenas, from rodeos to the Rocky Mountains, the American Quarter Horse excels. Born and bred in colonial America, he's the world's most popular and versatile horse breed. Welcome to America's Horse. Tonight, from the State Fairgrounds Arena in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, America's Horse presents a special 90-minute edition featuring the 13th annual American Quarter Horse World Championships. Good evening, everybody. I'm John Brooks, and on my left, old friend Walt Garrison and our co-host Dick Morgan. We're here tonight for a special edition of America's Horse, 90 minutes, in fact, as we feature the World Championship Quarter Horse Show. You're going to see the best of nearly 2,000 American Quarter Horses that competed for over $455,000 in prize money and 74 World Championship titles. And all of our regular features, updates on the major quarter horse activities, horse health tips, and more information on how you can win your very own quarter horse. And Dick, we've been getting a lot of entries on that, so you'll want to get your name in the hopper, and we'll tell you about that a little bit later on. A moment ago, I mentioned that prize money. You know, that's nearly a half million dollars. It takes a lot of entry fees, takes a lot of added money from longtime show sponsors, like a name you're familiar with, certainly, Copenhagen Skull. Well, John, Copenhagen Skull, along with the other fine sponsors this year, Levi Strauss and Company, Cutter Animal Health, Temco Downfield Coats, Resist All Hats, and of course the Oklahoma City Chamber of Commerce. And we do want to thank all of these fine people for doing what they do to make the World Championships the great show that it is. It is a great one, and as we said, you'll see the best of the great ones. And it's coming up as we get to the World Championship Quarter Horse Show and World Championship Cutting right after these messages. Welcome back to America's Horse as we feature the World Championship Quarter Horse Show from Oklahoma City. And Walt, we begin with a favorite event of yours, Cutting. John, we're going to take a look at two outstanding world champions right now from action earlier in the week. Ten judges made up the judging panel at this year's World Show, and five of them are used in each of the events. Those particular ones, such as Cutting, where the scores are numerical in evaluating the performance of the horses, the high and low scores are dropped and the three remaining ones totaled. In this case, 70 is an average performance. The horse is being judged between 60 and 80 points, so an average score would be a total of 210. And you're looking at the junior cutting world champion, Doc's Drive Freckle, four-year-old Sorrel Mare, owned by Marklin Ingram of Mesquite, Texas, and this is Joe Heim aboard. I think, John, one of the, uh, the real points here we need to mention is this is the junior cutting. So that means these horses are four years old and younger. So they're not going to know as much as the senior horses that we'll be seeing later. Uh, the rider rode into the herd, as we saw earlier, gets a cow out, and uh, the judges are looking for quietness going in the herd. Once the, the cow is removed from the herd, as you see, this horse doing an excellent job, head-to-head -head turns. Uh, you see one of the turn back men here, they keep the calf in the middle of the arena so the horse can really show his ability to, to really get down and work a cow. And competing for a prize money of just under $6,000. And again, we're looking at the World Championship run in junior cutting. We certainly are doing an excellent job. As I mentioned before, the judges are looking for head-to-head -head turns, and this one's doing an excellent job. If you put the horse's head and the calf's head on the string, that's what they're looking for. And it'll all last just two and a half minutes, right? Exactly. Now, how important is this going going back in? He's had a great run. Uh, he's he's got to get back in there again. How, how important is this part right here? Well, it's, it's pretty important. You know, uh, they can work more than one animal within the two and a half minute time limit. If they get a bad calf or a bad cow to start with, they want to get off that cow, get back into the herd, and bring another one out so they can show the ability of the horse. Just to, he had such a... A great run on that on that first calf. Uh, I'd think if I was the rider right then, I'd be thinking, hey, don't anything go wrong. I, I may have this thing, uh, uh, may have it won, right? Well, he's doing a good job. But but also, you've got to look. The judges are looking for more than just head and head turns. They're looking for the way the horse goes into the herd, the quietness going into the herd, bringing a cow out without disturbing the rest of the herd. Comes from actual ranch work. And uh, then the ability to keep the horse out of the, out of the herd. Well, there it was, 223, and a very, very fine score for the Junior Cutting World Champion. Now we're into the Senior Cutting World Championship, and we're going to look at the winner, Montana Susanna, a six-year-old sorrel mare, Robert and Catherine Long of Staten, Oregon, the owners, and Al Dunning aboard. 
As we mentioned, the senior cutting, uh, the junior cutting was four years and younger. These, of course, five years and older. This being six year old, the winner. But uh, the analogy I keep bringing up, John, is head to head turns. And, and I think probably going back a few years when I played, I look at a, a wide receiver and a defensive back, you know, with actually mirroring uh, the moves. And this that's what this horse is doing. Uh, they're not allowed to uh, rein the horse or to spur the animal in front of the front dirt. There you're seeing just the difference between the junior and the, and the senior horse in, in the world championship. Just a little more finesse there, I guess, huh? It really oh, is. Yeah, a little more polished. You know, they've had uh, they've had more years of experience than the junior horses. That was a that was a good calf. You notice he's looking now back into the herd uh, to pick out the cow that he wants. And and once he shows the horse uh, the cow, uh, he drops the reins. You know, he can rein a horse as long as he's uh, picking one out. You know, there'll be three or four come out, and when he decides which one he wants, and the horse is singled in on it, then the slack in the rein comes. This is a real good job. Uh, the winning score on this, as you'll see in a minute, is going to be 224 and a half, and that's the championship run. And again, down to the final uh, 15 after 59 entries uh, in the show to begin with. So a lot of survival uh, wear out of this uh, winner, uh, Montana Susanna. Well, you can see the performance of what it takes to be a world champion. Now, that's what the judges like, that, uh, that real quick move with the quickness of the of the calf the quickness of the horse following right in line with it you really have to appreciate how these horses are kept up to a peak of brilliance uh, they make a lot of shows they see a lot of hauling a lot of different conditions yet they're coming here to the world and they're really blooming right now the best they could do this cutting probably more than any event shows the versatility of the american border horse and there was 224 and a half the world championship montana susanna now that's great cutting. And Walt, cutting goes right back to ranch life, doesn't it? It does, Dick. Many of the events you see here at the World Show actually evolve from ranch work. Uh, cutting, of course, is one of them. But uh, reining, I think, typifies the ability of a great stock horse. So let's take a look at two outstanding world champions right now. First, the senior. The world champion was Dog Patch Doc, a five-year-old sorrel stallion. You see the owner, Jack Brainerd of Gainesville, Texas, and the rider, Mike Corrington. Again, these horses are scored on a point basis, 60 to 80 points, with 70 being average. Well, as you mentioned earlier, Dick, there's five judges in this event. They throw out the high and the low score, and uh, they add the three remaining judges' totals together to come up with the score. The judges are looking for the way the horse spins, as you're watching right now, the way he keeps his feet under him, keeps good balance. Now they're going to go through several different maneuvers in this reining pattern. They start out with a big wide circle, uh, then they'll reduce it down a little bit. It's the way the horse uh, reduces the speed without really getting choppy. Uh, they're going to have some lead changes, some stops. Uh, the judges are really looking at what this horse does, the way he handles. It all is a very smooth and flowing performance, isn't it? Especially when you're looking at a champion. <laughs> well, a good run is supposed to be that way, and uh, this one is definitely going to be that way. The smoothness of the lead change that you saw earlier, the way he goes from the big circle, reducing his speed back into the little circle, and of course the real crowd pleaser coming up are the sliding stops. Of course we know that horses learn by habit, and what's the real key here is to not have a horse that anticipates what you're going to do next, and this one really is great at that. He well, just waits. a judge will take off, as you said, if a, if a horse anticipates a move, such as the slide and stop here uh, that we just saw, if he starts kind of checking up, what we call checking up before he goes into that stop, means the horse is overtrained. And that's where that big hindquarter muscle of a quarter horse comes into play, doesn't it? It really does. I tell you what, this horse is uh, doing an excellent job, Dick. And it should have uh, done an excellent job because it was the world champion with a score of 222 and a half. And taking it home to the trophy room, so to speak, right there. Or, is that called backing into the championship? <laughs> <laughs> Not hardly. <laughs> Dog Patch Doc, five-year-old Sorrel Stallion, 222 and a half, the senior reigning champion. Now we look at the junior reigning champion, Sparkles Rosanna, and a familiar name, Carol Rose, Gainesville, Texas, the owner, Craig Johnson, the rider. Another familiar name here because this filly is the daughter of her previous super horse winner, Diamond Sparkle. This is her filly foal, the first one she had.
and is a half-sister to Reprise Bar, the 1984 Super Horse. Real good spin there, not quite far enough around, but almost. Really good spin. Judge is looking for balance in a horse, and you notice the judge is over there next to the line. Uh, after they finish the spin, you notice they bring the horse under control. That's to show the calmness of the quarter horse, because a lot of these horses, as Dick mentioned uh, earlier, you know, they get them pumped up for a show like this. Well, the reigning horses are pumped up too, but in this event, they have to be a control pumped up. A question for those who might be seeing reigning for the first time. Uh, is a rider, do they know ahead of time, uh, like all afternoon before the, the finals, is what the pattern's going to be? Uh, uh, what's the story there? The patterns are posted shortly ahead of time of the event, so the riders are given an opportunity to be familiar with what that pattern will be. But not too much advance notice. They all have to be very familiar with the individual patterns that are part of the AQHA rule book. And after qualifying for the World Show, uh, they have seen <laughs> nearly every pattern in the book, I would assure you. <laughs> really a nice, smooth stop here. And a good attitude, a good manner. You see, that really a relaxed rein on this horse. Nice contact. You know, this is the this almost a near perfect run because uh, when you see the score come up here, and we'll, we'll, we'll just wait and let all of you wait and see what the score was. Obviously, we know this is the world champion, but it was a near perfect run. You're just not going to see a score that's going to be much higher than uh, than this one, are you? The, the highest score in the show, in no. anything, I guess, really. Well, as Dick mentioned, the horse is is nearly perfect in mannerisms, and of course, as you'll hear the crowd, I'm sure. Uh, they like the slide and stop, and as Dick mentioned, that, that does show uh, the massive hindquarters. 227. Isn't that some kind of score? That's unbelievable. 227. If you are familiar with this event, you know that 227 is some kind of a score. We'll be back with jumping right after these messages. <laughs> 